got your back. Hey, Chief! Ooh, hey, gorgeous. Come over here. I want to talk to you about something. Something really important. Quit bothering the decent people in here, Wolgif, or I'll knock your teeth out. What's it to you, Delvin dum-dum? You were told to guard me, and I'm not stopping you. But no one told me I had to shut my trap. Wolgif. Wolgif Jepto. I deal in useful things. I can get you whatever you want. Anything. But there's just one problem. <laughs> I'll lay it out for you. Simple job, 30 minutes tops. We go someplace, talk to someone, and in return, whatever you want, I'll get it for you. Some extra rations, no problem. Armor, weapons, scrolls, you name it. It's as good as yours. If you need my help with something, whistle and I'll be there. I'm handy enough with knives, too, and even my magic know-how isn't too shabby. <laughs> what a load of guff. If you were good at magic, you wouldn't be stuck in here now, would you? Don't you listen to him, Chief. He'd find fault with the Queen herself. I'll be useful to have in battle, and I'll sell whatever you want at a reasonable price. It's your lucky day. You won't meet another gem like me in Canabras. Does it really matter? Don't get hung up on the past, Chief. Don't look to the future. Live in the here and now. He was caught thieving. <laughs> get me out of here and I'll tell you. And don't worry, it's not contagious. That's easy. You know Irabeth? Feisty looking gal, always wears armor. You can't miss her. She's the meanest fighter in the whole city. When you see her, put in a good word for me, will ya? Tell her there's this guy, Wolgif, locked up for no good reason in the Defender's heart. Well, for the follies of his youth. And he really wants to get out on bail so he can keep up his good behavior and make a contribution to society. You got that? Will you do it? <laughs> I knew I could count on you! Knew it the moment I laid eyes on you. Chief, what do you got for me? Ah, <laughs> you must be a smooth talker. Come on, Delvin, get these bracelets of yours off me. I'm going free. You're sure to regret this. This tiefling will fleece you for everything you've got. Mark my words. You're a bitter little man, Delvin. Petty and mean. You can't even be happy for me, can you? I pity you. I'll leave you alone with your sad little soul. So long. 
And now, Chief, straight down to business. <clears throat> you see, I'm one of those guys that people around here call thieflings. We just call ourselves the family. After we knocked over that shop and I got stuck here in the Defender's Heart, a little bird told me that Big Sister Charisme wanted to see me. That she had some questions to ask me. You following? Now, she won't be asking me questions like, Woljif, how'd you manage to get out of this one? Or, Woljif, you're so thin, didn't they feed you? No, something serious has gone down, and I just know they want to try to pin something on me. I can feel it in my tail. So, I knew right away that I couldn't go alone. You turned up just in time, Chief. You don't need to do anything when we get there. Just stand behind me and look mean, and I'll handle the rest. Somehow. Let's go, I'll, I'll show you the way. Thank <laughs> you.